Yellowstone under strict monitoring as huge geyser eruption shocks science and visitors. The Good for Utah Winter Road Tour takes us to Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone National Park. Amid the deep chill of winter, Yellowstone National Park has been placed under strict geological monitoring following a massive and unexpected geyser eruption that left both scientists and visitors in shock. The eruption, which occurred in the heart of the park's geothermal basin, sent boiling water and towering steam columns sky high, reinforcing growing concerns about increased subterranean activity beneath the park's surface. A colossal eruption amid the snow. On a frigid morning, with temperatures well below freezing and snow blanketing the landscape, tourists and park rangers witnessed what could be one of the most powerful geyser eruptions in recent history. A deafening roar shattered the quiet winter air as an enormous column of scalding water shot more than 350 feet into the sky, dwarfing even the legendary steamboat geyser. Clouds of superheated steam billowed over the snow-covered terrain, creating an eerie and mesmerizing sight that left onlookers in stunned silence. Scientists scrambled to explain the event. You can see them all right here in this plot. Geologists and the United States Geological Survey, USGS, were quick to respond, dispatching monitoring teams to analyze the eruption. According to Dr. Alan Whitmore, a Yellowstone hydrothermal specialist, this was not an ordinary eruption. The sheer magnitude and duration suggest an unusual release of geothermal pressure. We are now increasing our real-time monitoring efforts. While Yellowstone's geysers regularly erupt due to underground heat buildup, the intensity and timing of this eruption in the middle of winter have raised alarms. Typically, geyser activity can fluctuate seasonally, but such a violent outburst at this time of year is considered rare and potentially indicative of deeper geological shifts. Heightened concerns about the supervolcano. This unexpected event has reignited fears about Yellowstone's underground supervolcano, a colossal volcanic system that sits beneath the park. Some researchers speculate that changes in geyser behavior could be linked to increasing underground pressure or shifting magma activity. The fact that this happened during winter, when underground water levels are typically lower, is what makes it unusual, said Dr. Whitmore. It suggests that either the underground system is experiencing extreme pressure fluctuations or new hydrothermal vents have formed. The eruption also triggered several small earth tremors, which were recorded by Yellowstone seismographs. While these tremors do not immediately signal a larger volcanic event, they indicate dynamic changes in the underground plumbing of the park's geothermal system. Visitors left in awe and fear. Tourists who braved the icy roads to visit Yellowstone in the winter never expected to witness such a jaw-dropping event. It was terrifying and beautiful at the same time, said one visitor, describing the sheer force of the geyser's eruption. 